Hi Scorpios, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her to a Row. I'd love to see that you preferred me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the mo all of the readings or messages, excuse me, will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Scorpios. I feel like I was uh receiving a message, but I didn't catch it. That's what kind of threw me off. But most important messages for the sign of Scorpio, please and thank you. I'm hearing thermal, like something to keep me warm, cozy, comfortable. Most important messages for Scorpio. We have the Ace of Cups. It's coming out in reverse. Someone's having a hard time, like loving themselves or opening up to love, maybe. Justice card at the bottom of the deck. That's that's Libra energy. The Three of Pentacles building. The Tower card. I will almost say that it's best for you to work on something that that may be falling apart. But why would I say something like that if it's falling apart? Like uh, nine times out of ten, you should just let that fall with the, with this Tower card that is your energy. Or maybe this is just you working on regaining your strength in order to create or manifest something here. Because of some type of composition, I'm guessing you are not seeing yourself as enough. Can I get more for the sign of Scorpio? The devil card. See, I knew it was some type of um, uh, iffy energy, lower, lower vibrational energy, especially when the Ace of Cups came out or shot out in reverse like that. The devil card, it makes sense. Let me take this out as it is. So, I feel like you, you may be being tested, challenged, triggered. The Ten of Cups cups is at the bottom of the deck. Um, or maybe it's a need to appreciate what it is that you already have. Like, you may have things that you could be, you could appreciate right now. But because you may not be looking in that direction or... Um, you're focused on this one thing that may be making you feel bad. You don't really see, excuse me, what you already have going on. There's a level of fear here about what. Um, I'm hearing like, um, is this what Source has for me? Can I get more? It's not. It's nothing. That's the, um. This is a trick of the devil. I don't want to take all, all of these cards, but they came out. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Star card. I'm going to have to take this like this. So after all of this, everything will be okay. Something leads to an, an energy that everything will be okay. However you make your money. Remember to not lose yourself because of what you're making. Like if it's some toxic stuff going on um, at your job, at your work here, within your work, try not to let that energy bring you down, bring you into that vibration. Do whatever it is that you need to do in order to protect yourself. Um, just don't lose yourself. Don't lose your soul. Hmm. That's a scripture or some, something like that. I can't catch it right now. Don't lose your soul trying to gain material things, though. But I think you all know what I'm talking about when it comes down to that verse. It's a verse. I can't catch it right now. But um, clarify the Ace of Cups. I feel like I want to look it up. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Something about inheriting the earth. Okay, um, the full card is coming out on top of the Ace of Cups. New beginnings or someone could have felt foolish. All right. Someone could have felt foolish with the full card coming out on the Ace of Cups. Maybe someone felt like they jumped into something that you didn't know um, what comes with it. You didn't want to be responsible for what came with it. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. We have an opportunity that's going slow. Lee, we have this five of swords, seven of cups. 
that's almost an energy like I'm fighting for something but don't know what I'm fighting for. So someone may be feeling this way like you fighting for something but don't know what you're fighting for. <clears throat> that goes towards that energy of maybe you feel like you're losing yourself. Because you may be feeling like you're fighting for something that you don't know what you're fighting for or it's not even worth it. So what's the devil card? And I'm telling you, it's a, yeah, it's a relationship, a connection. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover situation, but we have the two of cups coming out in reverse. We have the page of wands. So someone was trying to offer you something here. So re use your spidey senses. Use your intuition and discernment here. Eight of cups, walk away. Someone walked away from something iffy or it's best for you to do so. Hold on. Give me one second. Um, those who you once connected with, I don't think these people are good for you. Like you associated with some individuals that may be low vibrational and those may be the people that you need to walk away from here. Um, but you're in your head about doing so. We have the seven of swords deception. It's something about the way you've seen something in the past that's causing you to have some type of anxiety or make you feel like you're trapped. It's the way you see something here. What's the nine of wands? The queen of wands is on the nine of wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Harry, Sag here. Six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, seven of wands. Protection. Someone's trying to stop another person from getting something. That's what I keep hearing. What I was trying not to say, but it keeps coming up like um, maybe someone's trying to stop you from getting something or you know that this is happening to someone or vice versa. <clears throat> Tower card, here you are. At the top of the deck. Something that you want to manifest or create. Like you're trying to get ahead of something. But it's hard for you to do so. It could be someone's... Um, <clears throat> Someone wanting a certain person that they wanted to be with. Things aren't work, working out. You end up losing yourself. Someone could want a certain position at work. You feel like you're losing yourself there. Or you feel like you can't work on something that you wanted to create. Um, what is energy of rejection? You feel like you're getting somewhere. That makes you feel like you're losing yourself. What's this King of Pentacles? <clears throat> What's the king of pentacles? Yeah, someone could be... Okay, there we go. Someone could want a um, sexual relationship with you and you don't want that. Maybe you could have had this relationship with this person and someone is trying to um, restrain themselves. That's for some people. Knight of Cups on top of this king of pentacles here. Someone playing nice, being nice. The ten of swords is at the bottom of the deck and the two of swords. So there was some betrayal involved. Someone's not seeing this. But with the Empress and a higher friend card, someone was being protected as well. <clears throat> What's the star card? <clears throat> Clarify the star card, please. And thank you for the sign of Scorpio. We have the Ten of Wands. So maybe you've been going through some tough time struggles or whatnot. But things will go smoothly soon. But we have the Tower card at the bottom of the deck. So if someone's control would be towered out or... Where you feel like you were juggling or had a lot going on. <clears throat> That's going to change. Maybe you're going to get some type of rest sooner than later. What's this full card? The hanging man. Someone feel like they made a decision that, that's, that you feel like you're stuck in. There's those people that I feel like you may be associated with. You could have made money made money with these people. I feel like these could be people you work with <clears throat> that you may need to walk away from. Five of, cup, five of cups, eight of cups, five of cups, three of cups, eight of cups, walking away. Someone could be worried about their money, their finances, though, being slowed down. <sighs> what is... The hanging man. 
clarify the hanging man, please and thank you. Someone feel like they stuck in a relationship that they don't want to be in. We have the four of wands. Or can't stop thinking about a connection or a relationship. Someone feels like they're being blocked from something here with the seven of wands. Yeah, four of cups. Someone feel like they're being rejected here. But someone also feel like they have lost themselves or losing themselves. Maybe in the midst of a connection or wanting someone. Wanting to be with a certain someone for some. What is Scorpio's advice here? To move on. Six of Swords, to move on. Four of Pentacles, you're holding on. You're holding on to something that's, that either ends in betrayal or it doesn't end well. <clears throat> you could be betraying yourself. What's the Six of Swords? Eight of Swords, self-imposed imprisonment. I think I felt that energy here. Um, feeling stuck, trapped, mental entrapment. But it's something about your past that makes you feel this way. So I really feel like that's what it is. Intuition, the past energy, confusing, uh, a confusion, needing to make some type of choice or feeling like there's that. Did I say this to you all? What am I fighting for? Maybe you feel like you're fighting for something. What's the reason why you're fighting for something? Did I say this? Uh -uh, I think that was you all. Um, what does Scorpio need to be aware of? You know, way too many cards, but I should look at them. I just said this to a whole nother sign. If that's the message that's, the, that's going to come out, um, be aware of people trying to manipulate you by way of finances, what they can give to you. So, what does Scorpio need to be aware of? The strength card. Could be a Leo energy here, but be aware of your strength. Taking your time, waiting something out. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles energy with the Ace of Pentacles. So, Maybe it's something that you went without. If you have the strength or composure or resiliency or you, some, type, some type of replenishment here happens. Yeah, yeah, something could change. Something changes. Something that you may have been missing. Something changes or like it may be replenished here. Um, but it's going to take your re resilience, your strength, composure, um, discipline someone's worried here what's the strength card what's the strength card the strength card <clears throat> judgment some of you all could be worried about I said what to be aware of some of you all should could be needing to be aware. Some of you all needs to be aware of a Leo. Did I already say that, or just the strength, resilience, or whatnot? Um, maybe you know someone. We have the judgment card coming out on top of the strength card. Right? Do you have the strength to make this decision? It may have nothing to do with the Leo at all. We have the justice card to be to. We have the strength. We have the. What's that? Justice card, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Something that you've been worried about. For some of you all, you have to have the... You have to make a decision to stop something... Or some of you all are making the decision to have the strength to make something happen. Whether it is moving on. Or building something. Can I get more on a judgment card as to what Scorpio needs to be aware of? You. It's you. We have the death card coming out. A transformation. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Emotional control. Doing something differently. That makes sense. So just you doing something differently in your life here. Because somewhere, some area in your life is making you feel like 
you feel like you're losing yourself to a certain extent because of a decision that you may have made. Maybe you feel like you're feeling foolish because of a decision that you made. Maybe you're feeling trapped in some relationship or a home because of the contract that you signed. Maybe someone's feeling like they're, they're uncomfortable and they're constantly being tested in this place that they're staying in. Um, some of you all, yes. Yeah, some of you all maybe may oh, some of you all, was it the two of cups? Some of you all may be living with someone who you have no like you don't relate to this individual so you all are getting into it and stuff like that um so you're not comfortable and it's the, something is making you be get beside yourself you have to have the strength and, and make the decisions to change be aware of the change Some people, with um, I said in in the collective reading about like layoffs and stuff when it comes down to the economy working, and days later, I seen something about people not being like going looking for jobs and feeling like I guess they wasn't able to get hired or something. What I'm seeing here, not for everyone. That's not this is not for everyone, but we have some people that may be worried about their place and their job like some people are worried like wondering what they're staying at work especially if you had don't have some type of what is it called seniority because there's a feeling of annoying this is what I'm getting at people know there it is people know I don't know if it's the people at the top who are like who are the uh, CEOs, the owners and stuff like that. Business owners here are those are these the only people who know that those with seniority are those who have like um, guaranteed jobs. Also, it's not just that either. You remember when the C situation was going on. We had people, it was called essential workers. Those workers would have their jobs, type of energy. These type of individuals don't have to worry about their place. We have individuals who may be worried about their place and worried about their security. So sources basically saying like, look, it could be some type of tough time here or someone could be sitting in a tough time or it could be coming in the future because I understand that I'm not a like I don't I don't predict futures. I don't I'm not a psychic. I just read the energy. And from what I'm reading here is that um yes, a no a new beginning may be coming. It may be an opportunity for you go to go towards a new beginning. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be different for you. It may be a little bit different, but it's like we had an you had an opportunity to make something happen before, and here's an, another opportunity. So if things get shaky, baby, there's an opportunity for you to create a level of success for yourself again. Okay, I'm hearing barter and trade. There that happened at one point in time. There was a point in time where people were trading and stuff. So make sure that you put yourself in a position where you are able to have something to offer type of energy. Like um, making sure you're working with your hands type of energy. Trades. Education is wonderful. But some educated individuals didn't have a J-O-B either during that time. So I'm just saying... This is coming up for a reason. This is coming up for a reason. So just be aware of the changes that may be happening. Scorpio. Scorpio is transformation. Scorpio is death, uh, the tower card. So that makes sense while I'm speaking that in, in your, you all's reading, right? That makes sense now. I get it. Because I understand that when I do readings, it's just the flow of. This are ne not necessarily for just Scorpio. I don't believe so. I put Scorpio on there, but I swear I don't think that when I do these readings, they're just for that particular sign. So what's the death card here? Ooh, excuse me. That ace of wands and then your card comes out with the tower card. Uh, it's some type of creative ideas that you all have that can actually create the train the change for you. Okay? That can help you get through the transformation, get through the change, get through the shifts. Yeah, look at that nurturing energy. Mother Earth, baby, always provides. 
and then look at um source with the higher friend card and then justice here bringing out bringing back in balance working here building and taking risks and staying focused with the eight, eight of pentacles down here as well so what's this tower card ten of cups and it's giving me the energy of where things where it's something where things may have made you happy once before they may not make you happy now also it's giving me this energy where um yeah some things that th some things different things may excite you also false represent false representations of what people claim to be wish fulfillment or what People try to portray as rich fulfillment. People will see the people will see it differently. Yeah, the world card completion. Like you got to get to yourself. It's not always about having having a relationship, having a person, having children. Like, how can you be you without having a not dynamic with other people? How can you can you be with, can you be you without someone else? Can you be you without depending on others and stuff like that? But not to disassociate. So. Because it, you know how people could almost contort themselves and start to change because of those around them, because of your peers and stuff like that. People have to learn how to be them. Who are you without other people? I'm just going to leave that here, Scorpio. Oh, I should have let you all know. Drop your strawberries if you all would like personal readings with me live personal readings and i do those for 25 dollar, 25 dollar personal live readings drop your strawberries if you all would like personal readings with me and i'll come live um so let me know down in the comments if the reading resonated how it resonated leave like shit all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you all next time bye